Good morning from here. My name is Honorable Chukwe Maka Kenneth, the president of Collective Hope and Lighthearted Youth Empowerment Association. Collective Hope is a body formed by some youths in the East. And uh, it's registered under CSC. Our aims and objectives to see how we can give our little support, our own little support in reducing the crime rate that has eaten deep in the Eastern land as youths. Actually, some of the patriotic leaders, the patriotic ones, have tried, they are still trying to see how they can arrest the situation. But uh, unfortunately, we are still experiencing it somehow. So our aim is to see how we can support in bringing back peace and the unity the eastern land was known for. So we, we came together and formed a body and officially registered it aimed at initiating something that can be used in engaging some of our youth that have been brainwashed. Some of the youth that have the unpatriotic people of the East changed their orientation, you know. And uh, we feel that one of the best ways to go about it, to engage our youth, to create opportunity or opportunities for our youth, especially those who are talented, the, 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 the ones that have the talent to come out and exhibit or portray those talents in them. And by doing so, somebody can, you know, can be picked from there. So what I'm talking about is that we initiated a football tournament in the Eastern Land known as Eastern Unity Football Tournament. Eastern Unity Football Tournament is aimed at using to create opportunity for our youths, especially those are talented in football to come out and see how they can help themselves. We all know the power of football, what football can do. Football is so powerful, you know. And of course, the language you to understand most today is football. Even though some of those youths are even talented in some other fields, but we think, let us start with football first, see what we can achieve with it. So, the Eastern Unity Cup, as we call it, is something, the tournament, project, event that will be taking place yearly in the Eastern Land. The first edition was last year, 2023. Played in Imo State, Owerin. The second edition, the one of 2024, is built to hold in Udi, local government area of Enugu State. And we are looking at it to hold in the month of October, even though that we are still lacking some resources. In, but we are hoping that the second edition, the one of 2024, will take place in Enugu State in the month of October. So let us support this project to see how we can use it and engage our youth. Because if we fail to engage our youth now, I'm afraid. The time will come when Sobali, Sodom and Gomorrah will be better in the Eastern land. God forbid. But at the same time, we must do something about it. And that is what we initiated. The reason why we initiated this tournament is because we know football is loved. Youths loved football. And many of them are talented in football. So that is why we are using it to see how we can. I'm not saying that we're going to eradicate 
everything completely but at least we're going to reduce it to a certain percentage i strongly really believe so this project is for everybody all well-meaning easterners the patriotic easterners to see see it as a good initiative you know so we we are still soliciting for sponsors and support we also using this medium to tell those who have their personal team to register if you look at me what i'm putting the outfit i'm putting on here is specially designed for the tournament of which if you need it you can have it just call on 081-3870-6139 i repeat 081-3870-6138 or zero eight zero six seven one seven zero three one two. If you call this number concerning this uh, tournament or this project, I want to know more. If you have any question, call this number. Somebody will speak with you. Somebody will elaborate it the more, the way you can understand it better. So the door for registration is still open. You have your personal team, you can register your personal team, you can mobilize your community, you tell them the need for them to participate in this tournament. You know, the one of last year, the first edition, we recorded success where about seven of the boys that participated in it, you know, we are picked for trial in higher clubs. And so that is exactly what we are talking about. And if you ask me, or you will agree with me that if, for instance, some of these boys that we have picked that last year, maybe we are into crimes, carrying AK-47, and now they have picked, you know, for going for trial in higher clubs. Now they have dropped their guns. We don't want to go back to it again. That's what we are talking about. Just to create this opportunity for them to come out and portray their god given talent. That's what we are talking about. And see how we can better our land, you know. See how we can, you know, bring back the peace and the unity our land is known for. Now we can use this, you know, this uh, event to, to create opportunity for our youth. I can use it. Football is a unifying factor. You know, football is so powerful that you can use and return peace back to anywhere. You can use football and unite the people. You know, it's a vitality in uh, human race. As well as the entire nation and state and even community. So we only need your support. Support it. You will not regret it. You know, if you can sponsor it, you can still call on us on that very number. Then we talk, we discuss. Bringing back peace in the Eastern land is for all of us. All hands must be on deck. There's no special person or group of people that can do it. It's all of us. It's a collective effort. You know, at least. I remember when we know Eastern land as peaceful land, if something is happening, that's where you run to Eastern land and get refuge, you know. But today, the reverse is the case. People are afraid to go back to their fatherland for fear of unknown. People are no longer sleeping with their, with their two eyes closed. We don't know Eastern land like this. So the question is, what even you as a person, what are you thinking? You, we need your, even advice is needed. You know, suggestion, suggestions are needed. And of course, financial uh, support. You know, we are heading to somewhere. You know. So please, my dear brothers and sisters, this is the little I can say for now. Like as I said, if you want more, if you want us to elaborate the more, you can call the numbers I mentioned there to tell you more about it. God will bless you. Thank you very much.